What's up guys, Aiden from Aiden GU Tech, and today we're going to be checking out some of my favorite MacBook accessories. This is my M1 MacBook Air, which I've been using for about two years, and ever since then, I've been experimenting and using a lot of different accessories, and today I'd like to show you some of my favorite that I've used over the last few years to improve my productivity and just general use of the MacBook. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be checking out is a USB-C hub. So you can see this one I picked up from a random Amazon brand, and it has a USB-C port which plugs into your MacBook right here, and it just takes up one port. And then you can see it gives you access to all these extra ports, including SD card, micro SD, you got USB-A ports, as well as HDMI. You can also get other hubs that have a lot more ports on them for more expensive prices. But yeah, this is a must-have if you're going to be connecting anything else to your MacBook. And yeah, this is like my number one thing. All right, so the next thing we're gonna check out is a dock. So this is the Anchor 9-in-1 Power Expand Dock. Now you may be wondering what the difference between a hub and a dock is, and the difference is, is that a dock is powered. So you can see here, this has a power port on the back. So this can be basically plugged into your MacBook using a cord right here and it gives you all these peripherals. So you got HDMI and DisplayPort, which is really nice when you wanna plug in your MacBook, close the lid and use it with another display. So you have HDMI, DisplayPort, two USB-A ports, as well as Ethernet. Then on the front, your MacBook plugs in right here, and with one cord, your MacBook can power a display, charge it, and anything that you plug in here will also show up on your MacBook. So it's just this one cord for everything. Here is power delivery. So you want to plug something in that uses USB-C. This is just great for charging, but it can also connect to your Mac. And then there's a power button on the front. So if you're someone that's more on the go, you might prefer just to use a hub, but for me, I have both because I like using a hub for on the go and like connecting to a camera SD card. But when I'm at home, I like just plugging in my MacBook, closing the lid, and then having all these peripherals available to me and also having it outputted to my display. When you're out on the go with your MacBook, you usually don't want to just be holding it bare or in your bag. So this is where I picked up a sleeve. This is a little bit different than a bag where a bag has like some places to put stuff but a sleeve is just a nice thing that your macbook slides into so it got a nice padded inside that your macbook can slide into and you can get nice leather ones i don't believe this is leather uh, but it's from a brand called comfiable but you can get more expensive ones and this just has a nice stitching around the edge and it just slides your macbook in protects your macbook when you're on the go which i think is really important when you have something as expensive as a macbook now some of you may have noticed that macbook screens get very dirty very quickly due to the glossy screen so this is where I picked up whoosh screen shine so this is a very popular type of screen cleaner and it comes with a bunch of these nice microfiber cloths where one side is for actually applying the screen cleaner and the other side is kind of like a screen shine so it buffers it up and stuff and I've been using this for a few years it comes in two sizes in the one package and it comes with a big size and a little size and you can use this for larger devices and i've found this product to work extremely well for removing smudges fingerprints and everything else and it's just nice having a nice clean macbook screen instead of one that's riddled with a bunch of fingerprints and this also has antibacterial properties which is nice for just getting gross stuff off of your screen so i think this is awesome if you're going to be using your macbook at a desk plugged into a dock like i showed earlier it does take up a lot of desk space. So this is where a nice stand for your MacBook comes in. I've been using this one. This one's just a cheap one on Amazon from a brand called Vadir. And you can get nice metal ones, but I just picked this one up. It was like 10 bucks and it's made of plastic. And you can adjust the size depending on if you have a thicker or thinner laptop. And it just slides right in the middle and it just takes up a lot less desk space. And you just Put your macbook in and you can plug it into the dock still very easily now when you were buying your macbook you may have realized that storage is pretty expensive apple charges a lot for ram and storage and sometimes that storage can fill up pretty fast especially if you record a lot of clips and videos like me so this is where getting a nice external solid state drive comes in you can get a hard drive or solid state drive but generally solid state drives are a lot slimmer they're a lot more drop resistant and they're much much quicker than a traditional hard drive so this is the samsung t7 drive it's a very popular external solid state drive and supports thunderbolt 4 which is 40 gigabits per second which works with all the latest usb-c port on macbook so this is the 500 gig model but i believe it goes up to two terabytes so all around i've found this to be really nice for storing a lot of files on and it's very quick which means i'm able to actually edit full 
projects off of the drive instead of running it off my computer. So if you're just going to be storing clips, you can get a hard drive. If you're going to be doing more processes that use a lot of, that need a lot of speed, picking up an SSD is definitely a recommendation for me. And I've really liked this one. Now the MacBook trackpads are very nice. They're the, some of the best trackpads on laptops, but when you're doing stuff like editing or photo editing, you may find the trackpad a little bit limiting. So this is where a nice mouse comes in. Now this is a magic mouse. I know some people don't enjoy the magic mouse. Some of you may prefer a different wireless mouse, such as the Logitech MX Master 3S, but this one is the magic mouse. And I like it for its ability with multi-touch abilities where you can swipe and do a lot of gestures that are only found on the MacBook trackpad and are also found on this. Or with a traditional mouse, you can't do those at gestures, which I use very frequently in macOS and I can't live without. Being able to use a physical mouse definitely is a lot easier when doing some photo and video editing, as well as if you're going to do any small gaming like Minecraft or any games that are available on macOS, a mouse is definitely a better option. And specifically talking about the Magic Mouse, this one has a lot of charge. I got this one back in August and I've been using it very frequently and I haven't had to charge it once. It was at 90% when I got it and it's at like 50 now which is a super long lasting battery life and it's something you want from a mouse like this where you're just bringing it around for work or school and you don't want to ever have the hassle of charging it especially when the charging port is on the bottom. Lastly, another great product if you're using your MacBook with an external display is a nice USB-C 2 display port cord. If you're not going to use a dock and you just want to use your MacBook with a display, it's usually there is no HDMI port or display port on it, and sometimes adapters can be a little bit annoying if the only thing you're doing is plugging into a display. So a dedicated cord for display port to USB-C or Thunderbolt is a nice thing to have. And yeah guys, that is everything in my MacBook Essentials. If you guys have anything else that you use on the daily with your MacBook, definitely let me know in the comments because I'd like to hear about it and maybe other people would like to. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and maybe even subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.